Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. A red zebra midge is a fly no trout angler should be without, as they work just about everywhere and pretty much throughout the year. The fly starts with a size 12 hook and a black nickel bead. Feed the point of the hook into the small hole of the bead, then work the bead up the hook shank until it rests behind the hook eye. You can then get the assembly firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Solder wire is used both for additional weight and to help taper the body of the fly. Get hold of the bitter end of the wire in the fingertips of your left hand as you take wraps around the hook shank with your right. Five or six turns should be plenty. Then helicopter the wire to break it off close. A drop of super glue, here fly tire Z-Men, applied to the bare shank between the wire wraps and the bead will lock the wire in place in back of the bead once it's been slid forward. Tuck in the excess tail around the hook shank. Load a bobbin with a spool of black unithread, then get the thread started on the hook shank behind the wire wraps. Once it's well established, snip the excess tag end off close. Take thread wraps over top of the wire wraps to further anchor them, then end with your tying thread hanging at about the hook point. Snip a 4 inch length of the shiny silver wire free from the coil using the inside edges of your scissors, not their tips. Get hold of one end of the wire and place it on top of the hook shank above your tying thread. Begin taking thread wraps to anchor it there, then continue taking wraps to secure the wire to the hook shank well down into the bend. Wrap your tying thread all the way back up to behind the hook eye. Snip one of the lengths of red tie floss in half. Lay one end of one of the halves on top of the hook shank and take thread wraps to secure it. Take rearward wraps with the floss to about the midpoint of the hook shank, then back up to behind the bead. Wrap rearward again well down into the bend to cover up the black tying thread, then wrap back up the shank. The idea here is to create a nicely tapered body that's thinner in the back and thicker up front. With the body looking good, take wraps of tying thread to anchor the floss and snip the excess off close. Get hold of the silver wire and make open spiral wraps with it to rib and segment the body of the fly. Five or six turns usually looks pretty good. At the back edge of the bead, anchor the wire with tight wraps of tying thread then helicopter to break it off close. Take a few more thread wraps to neaten things up behind the bead. Reach for your whip finish tool and use it to do a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. A drop of head cement, or here Sally Hansen hard as nails, applied to the thread wraps behind the bead will ensure they don't come unraveled. Once the adhesive sinks in and dries, your red zebra midge is ready to fish. Mm -hmm.